Hi, in this week's video, I'm going to be reviewing this, the Nordic Track 2450 treadmill. My wife and I have been using this treadmill for around six months now. I'll tell you what she thinks of it. As a very experienced runner, I've always struggled with running. I've always found it very difficult, but this machine has helped me achieve something I never thought I would achieve. Uh, and there's also some things that we don't quite like about this machine. I also share those as well. No one likes long intro. Let's get cracking. So let's start with delivery and packaging. So I would say this is 50% shipped for transit and 50% shipped for the end user. If you can build an IKEA wardrobe, then you can build this. The deck here comes fully uh, assembled and then you're just kind of adding the legs and then the screens and the screen and then you're clicking some wires together in here as well. Nordic Track do offer a white glove service where they'll build it for you. But I mean, I would say just build it yourself because that way you'll really get to know the machine and you'll have a lot more confidence with it. It probably took me about 30 to 45 minutes just to unpack it and then a further 60 minutes to 90 minutes to build. But I was filming the whole process as well. So if you allow 30 minutes to unpack, 90 minutes to build, you'll probably do it quicker, quicker than that, but you won't be frustrated about the time it takes. The hardware of this running machine has been excellent. My gym is half of a double garage, as you can probably see if we come out here. And it's actually designed for just two pieces of equipment. One piece on this side, a running machine going all the way across there, and then a bike on this side, just there leaving space for the mirror. And one of the things we really like about the Nordic Track 2450 is that it easily folds up. And because I'm in here six days a week training, and even though there's both of us using this tread, it's only being used probably six hours a week, the rest of the time we can leave it switched off in this upright position and get that extra space back. If this were in our house, I think that would be quite useful. The piston underneath is also hydraulic, meaning it's very easy to lift and it comes down nice and safely like this. It does it in two speeds. Look, it'll stop in a sec. So it does that last bit really quite slowly, which I like. You can leave the 2450 on standby when not in use, and it runs through a series of screen savers like these. I mean, <laughs> they do look nice. I like the images that they use on these, but I don't quite understand why you can't turn them off. We generally have switched outlets here in the UK, so we can switch it off there. But if not, you've got to get all the way down here. And if your treadmill's against the wall like mine is, there's the on and off button down there. That's a little bit awkward. And I would like to see an on and off button maybe around here on the back of the screen. One of my favorite things about the 2450 is the cushioning on the deck. I can't stress this enough. Nordic Track have managed to create the perfect balance here of absorbing impact from running, but not feeling bouncy. It's gentle on my body, which I really appreciate. Historically, one of the problems I've had with running has been tight calves and tight hips. And this has meant that a 30 minute run might take me about an hour because I'd need to have a good 15 to 20 minute warm up, then do the run, and then have a 10 to 15 minute cool down at the end. With the 2450, the cushioning is just, just perfect. So I have a five minute warm up and then there's a warm up built into each run that you do, and then there's a, a cool down at the end. So a 30 minute run on this probably takes me 35 minutes start to finish. One thing that did happen with the 2450 after a few months is we started to get a little bit of a, a creaking from the running bed at certain speeds and certain inclines. So I reached out to Nordic Track and they were quite helpful. It did take a couple of back and forth to find out what the problem was, but we isolated it to the incline motor. The bolts that hold it on were just a little bit too tight and I just uh, was able to undo this, these two slightly and that solved the problem. As you can probably tell, we're really impressed with the Nordic Track 2450. If you're thinking about buying one of these or any other piece of fitness equipment from Nordic Track, I'll put a link in the description that will take you to the best price on their website and it also helps support the channel. So thank you very much. As you can probably imagine, the stuff in here is not cheap. All Nordic Track equipment runs iFit software, which is excellent. So this is a run, as you can probably see, and it's part of a sprint series and you can hear the treadmill now. It's at 2.5 miles an hour as part of the warm up, And you can probably hear the incline and decline motor as well going up and down on the tread. 
This is part of their strength series. They've got all sorts. They've got yoga, they've got cycling, etc. And here's a machine at seven miles an hour so you get an idea of how it will sound in your house. And as much as the classes for running, uh, like these, the studio classes, are very good, where they really come into their own are these outdoor workouts, these scenic fitness runs. So the stronger you get, the more your body can run without oxygen, the more you can get the faster you're going to get. And this, <laughs> these style of workouts, which is uh, outdoor fitness-led, trainer-led workouts, are where I mean, it just really comes alive. I just think this whole scenery linked with the trainer, who's also excellent, is what keeps me coming back for more. I've been fortunate enough to test a lot of instructor-led training over the last few years, and can honestly say that these outdoor fitness runs are by far my favorite. When you first step onto the 2450, your screen will look like this. So I'm doing uh, an advanced Epic Island Sprint Challenge. I'll tell you how I'm able to do an advanced sprint challenge in a minute. Uh, you can see here that my total time in the last seven days has been two hours. I've covered 60, nearly 17 miles and about 1,000 calories. Uh, and for 2023, I'm on my 92nd workout so far. So here's the series I'm doing at the moment. So that's uh, kind of given the priority on the screen there. You can see what they've got featured now. So they've got, it. well, you can see this Italy weight loss walking series. They've got a Costa Rica 5K training run, more with Sanya, uh, and then you've got all these. These are actually really good. These kind of like treks, they look easy, but the, <laughs> the incline on these makes them quite difficult. You've also got the latest from iFit, so you can see the latest programs they've released here. Down here, you've got Up Next. So this is based on what I've done with iFit so far, and it's suggesting that I should do these next. You've also got challenges down here, and you've got recommended workouts. There's so much to, to do on these, it's unbelievable. You can also browse by category down here. You can see these. And one thing I really like, so I've got one more workout left on here, and I really like the look of, for instance, where are we? Let's just pick one, Steve. This one, Vietnam Intermediate Cardio Hit Series. I don't wanna do this series now, I want to do it after I finish this one. So I know that I'm running today, which is the 3rd of May, and I'll be running, running again on the 5th of May. And when I come back on the 5th of May, that will have moved to there and be ready for me to start. When you start a workout, here's the waiting room for the workout. So you've got your accessories. So my heart rate monitor is automatically connected. And then my headphones, I need to open those to get those to connect. And then when you're ready, you can just end the warm up and the workout will start. And I'm going to leave the treadmill running so you can see what it sounds like at two miles an hour. And I'm going to talk about a couple of the features here which I really like on the 2450. And the first one is Smart Adjust. And this is an excellent feature, but believe it or not, it's my second most favourite feature. So with Smart Adjust, the workout will follow a pattern. So you might be running up and down hills or up and down inclines, and the instructor will change the speed throughout the workout and the treadmill will automatically follow the workout. So if the trainer goes up a hill, the treadmill will incline. If they go down, it will decline. And surprisingly, I didn't realize it declines to minus three. Uh, there's a whole different set of muscles and balancing used to run downhill than running uphill. I think in fact, it's easier to run on a slight incline than it is to run on a slight decline. And as the instructor changes the speed throughout the workout, the treadmill will automatically change the speed. Now, with my treadmill, because I don't like running really fast, mine has got a seven mile an hour limit on it. So if the workout will, goes beyond seven miles an hour, my tread will hit that ceiling and it won't go any faster than that. You can adjust that to whatever you want it to be. The really impressive thing about Auto Follow is that if, for instance, I want to do an advanced workout, which you've just seen on the sprint series, this is beyond my kind of capabilities. But with auto follow, I can choose to trail the difficulty of the workout. So if the workout's doing this, sort of like, I don't know, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight difficulty, I can bring that right down and I can just be doing four, five, four, five, four, five difficulty. Conversely, if I wanted to go harder than that, I could then go ahead of the workout and it would be more difficult for me, but it would always follow the workout. This is a brilliant feature. However, this feature 
is double brilliant. And this feature, which has been revolutionary for me, is down here, it's called Active Pulse. And this means the workout is automatically adjusted to what my heart rate is doing. You can see I'm filming, so it's not particularly high, and the speed I'm doing is 2.3. Although I'm not doing any speed, look, I'm just standing <laughs> on the edge of the treadmill. And in my profile, the 2450 knows my sex, my height, and my weight, and it can use that data to completely personalize nearly any workout just to me. I was diagnosed with severe asthma in 1976. That does seem like does seem like quite a long time ago, doesn't it? And this means I take a lot of asthma medication and here's my VO2 max range for the last 12 months. And I've spent most of the time in the very lowest level for my kind of high age and weight. And as you can probably imagine, having sort of around 60% lung function or less and asthma does make it quite difficult for me to train on a treadmill. Running is not generally a pleasant place for me. But with this tailored training, uh, with the active heart rate, because when, my, when I start to get short of breath, my heart rate goes up, the treadmill reads that and it reduces the intensity of the workout. So I can do the same workout on two different days with my asthma feeling good on one day and bad the other, and there will be two different workouts. Although it's the same workout, the, intens the intensities will match how I'm feeling on the day. This also means that my wife, who is a very fit person, has really good lung fitness, and you can see here, she's mostly in the top or the one below the top range for VO2 max. She can do the same runs as I can do and have a very different experience again. So we both can get off the tread after doing the same run and be kind of equally as out of breath and sweaty because it's been tailored specifically to us. And most people have probably not got lungs like mine, but it does mean that I can recommend runs to my wife, she can recommend runs to me, and we can do the same runs. If you're unfit as well, this is a really good feature because it will encourage you to kind of get fitter without doing that thing that we quite often do as human beings, where we buy a new piece of a fit fitness equipment, go all out, you're drenched, you say you're never gonna get tired of it, and then after five days, you can't bear the thing. So this stops that because it keeps you in that zone where you're being pushed, but not overexerted. One thing I really like about this machine is the 22 inch screen. I think it fits the actual overall size of the treadmill very well. Let me know what you think. And it's the, it's the perfect match between not being too small, so you don't get an immersive experience and not being too big. I'll put some footage of me running on this machine and you can see that it doesn't really move too much when you're actually running. And part of the reason for that is you can see the screen is attached to these arms, unlike some other treads which the screen is attached to the arms and the arms are attached to the bed, these are actually attached to the floor. So that gives this screen really good stability when the treadmill's in use. You've also got some really good quick controls here on the machine. You've got your um, incline and decline there, as well as your speed, quick buttons for speed. So in conclusion, we really like this machine. Surprise. <laughs> it's got the, a really strong motor on it. It's got a 3.6 uh, BHP motor, which for, means for my wife, she can run a lot faster and a lot longer distances. And for me, it's probably more than I need, to be honest. The way that the treadmill can adjust itself and tailor itself is just very clever and it's kept me running um, longer than I've done in the past. So when it comes to running, generally I don't stick with it. And with this treadmill, well, to give you a bit of an idea of my training routine, I normally do cardio five days a week. So I go bike, tread, bike, tread, bike. So it's three days of bike and two days of tread which sort of suits me because it suits my kind of interest and ability to run. <laughs> Since I've got this tread, I'm now training six days a week because if I only do two treadmill runs, I feel like I've shortchanged myself and I also really like the bikes. So now I just go bike, tread, bike, tread, bike, tread, but I do six instead of five a week. And what I have noticed on this tread is a couple of times my mind has wandered. And I don't mean that as a negative. I mean that running has been historically quite a distressful place for me sometimes, even though I really appreciate the benefits of running, that I'm kind of waiting for it to finish. I'm watching the speed, I'm watching the clock. 
Because of how good this treadmill is, with the cushioning and also the auto adjust that I spoke about, it means that sometimes I'm thinking, I wonder what's for dinner, or I must go to the supermarket, which is quite a refreshing feeling for me because it's like never happened before. And if you'd like to know why, when I returned to running, I picked the 2450 over the Peloton tread, which I previously owned, then watch this video here. I hope you found this video useful and until next time, see you soon.